Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today's class is Authenticate Silo to Share and Secure Access to Web Apps. So this Authenticate Silo is an application or is a service that is going to make your life a lot easier in this cloud-based infrastructure world. So I have talked a lot about one of the reasons that Microsoft servers are so important in the enterprise is because of access. Active Directory. Active Directory is something that is absolutely fundamental to how most uh, enterprises work with their IT infrastructure. What Active Directory allows is that you sit down at your computer, you log in, and you are automatically given access to all of the resources you have permission to. So you are given access to whatever folders and files you have permission to, whatever shared printers you have permission to, even what applications you are allowed to use. Basically, by that single sign-on. Now the problem is, as we've been migrating into the web world, there is no good alternative to Active Directory. Once you start setting up Google App accounts, and Salesforce accounts, and Twitter accounts, and Google accounts, and all of these different accounts, the problem is it becomes very, very difficult to manage all of those accounts and to also be able to share them out to allow other users to use them. Because, you know, if if you're using a service such as Twitter, Twitter was basically created so that one user got one account. The problem is nowadays what happens if you have a marketing department and five users are responsible for that one Twitter account? How do you manage the username? How do you manage the password? How do you manage the permissions without having a complete and utter mess? That's where Authenticate Silo comes in and they have a really, really, really cool way of, of, of doing all this. Not only does their service allow you to very easily share all of these different cloud-based web apps that you are using, but it also is also a much more secure environment for doing it. Again, one of the problems that you run into, you know, especially when you deal with employees, is you have some employees that, that are really, they are straight edge. They do everything by the rules. They do everything by the book. You do not have to worry about them doing something dumb with their computer systems. You have other employees that do whatever it is the hell they want to do. They, they, they will use Torrent to download Avengers 2, um, you know, just because, hey, they have a computer, why not? So one of the other problems that we run into in the real world with employees, and especially uh, gaining access to these web applications, is securing their computers. Because again, especially if, if you are a company such as Taco Bell, or if you have a big brand name, hackers, anonymous hacktivists, want to try to get your user accounts so they can access your Twitter stream or your Facebook page or any of that and put on nefarious content so they, they, they can do do all that kind of stuff. So the problem is, is what happens if malware gets installed onto one of these five marketing person's computers, the username and password gets stolen, and then all holy hell, everything uh, breaks loose. So this is the, the, these are the two problems that Authenticate's silo is trying to deal with. How do you share access to all of these web apps? And also, how do you secure access to all of these web apps? Because again, Really, seriously, the, the security of web applications, the security of software as a service is just absolutely abysmal, especially when you're used to dealing with the enterprise world. Well, what Authenticate does is they've come out with it, this silo service, and it does a lot of really, 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 really cool things. Now, the fundamental component of this silo service is essentially you have your own virtual computer that only does web applications sitting up in the cloud. So imagine they created a computer for you. They, you know, they created a, a virtual computer for you, but all uh, it does is web applications. Now, why this is important is because remember, whenever we're dealing with computers, the more things a computer can do, the more vulnerabilities a computer has. So if you restrict what a system can do, there is less likely to have vulnerabilities that hackers and malware and spyware and viruses can go after. So the first thing that they do is they give you this, like it's like a virtual computer that's sitting up in the cloud that only does web applications and also does terminal services for you. So if you want to SSH into a client, 
computer, you can do it there. Then the next thing that it does that's very interesting is it takes your data and stores it into a different folder than where this operating system is. So basically, normally when you're dealing with most computers, even virtual computers, the configurations and the operating system are all contain are all stored as one container. Well, what Authenticate does is it takes all the configurations that you set up and sets it aside into its own little data container. By doing that, it then protects the data because it's off to the side. It's not actually where all the uh, all the programming and software is running. Then what Authenticate does to make this system even more secure is every single time you access that virtual computer or that container, it recreates the container from the ground up. So the question is, is what happens if a virus or a piece of malware gets into the container and infects it while you are using it? Well, with Silo, all you have to do is you simply disconnect from the service. It literally will erase the entire container that you've been using because your data is off to the side. And then when you connect again, it will recreate it. So basically think of it as like a virtual system on the fly. Literally think about what it would be like if every time you sat down at your computer, it was a brand new install. Every time you rebooted your computer, it was a brand new fully updated install. That's basically what's happening with Silo. Then the final thing that they do to, to make this whole system more secure, because you're thinking, you know, what about the data being transmitted between your computer and their system? What they do is they have you install an application, a little app onto your computer, your Android device, or your iPhone, your iPad, and that is what connects to their container that is sitting up in the cloud. They then encrypt the data going back and forth uh, between that cloud container and your computer to try to make it more secure. So basically, it's an entirely secure setup going from your computer all the way up into the cloud. So that is why uh, this is really nice. Now with that container, and that's the cool part here, with that container, now that the data, data is set over to the side, you can actually share that data with other containers. So again, you can put in your Twitter information, your username and password, set that up as an app within Silo, and then if somebody else has access to it, they will be able to get to that Twitter account. So this will probably make a little bit more sense when we go over to the computer. So let's go over to my little computer right now so I can show show you how all this works because it really really this is one of those things that I, I, I really do find incredibly impressive so we're sitting here this is just my normal Windows 7 computer I do a lot of uh, stuff with so if we go here if you're interested on this this is the website authentic 8 so it's an actual 8.com and they give you lots of information and you can sit here and read it but this is where you would go about uh, getting silo and trying it out for yourself once you, you get your your user your uh, you're able to download and you get your authentication key then you're able to install the app onto your computer so once you've installed the app onto your computer you simply double click it and start um, as you normally would and then it's going to be asking for your uh, your uh, your username so being a little secure here, I am not going to show you guys my username because I know you guys. You guys like to try to hack me sometimes. So now with that, let's go back and we're going to be looking at the computer. And right now what it's doing is it's going through and it's try, uh, doing all the security procedures to make sure the uh, this is encrypted between here and the container. Now this is the next part that's kind of really cool from a uh, security standpoint is that... Um, with this, somebody can't use malware to try to steal your password. So you put in a PIN number, you create a PIN number as your password, and then what happens is every time you log in, it gives you this thing. So depending on what your, your PIN number is, you the, the letters up top correspond to it. So you just type in uh, this stuff, and then we do submit. So that's the thing. So that always changes. And again, that's another little piece of security. So 
once uh, you've run everything, once you've logged in, this is what you have. Now these are apps that I've set up for myself over here. So right now, like I say, I can do something like click Twitter and now it directly brings me into Twitter. And what's cool with this is since it's a little app within Silo, again, I could share this Twitter app with anybody with the username and password. So I can plug in the username, I can plug in the password, and then I can share all of this to, to some other user in my business. We can go down, we can do Facebook, and we're gonna see it's gonna go through and it's just going to auto log in for us. And again, I could share that with another user um, on uh, in the system and we've also got x term down here so again so not it's not only web applications but if we want to use this for ssh we are able to too so this this is basically i mean the core of what it is if we, if we go up and we click this um, it'll give us some options and things and we can see that there's this uh, this address bar so we can type in different addresses here but, uh, but that's bas basically what we're going to be dealing with. Again, this is all for web-based applications. Now, if we want to go in, we do want to do administration. All we have to do is go to A8 admin, and it will give us some interesting stuff here. So this is our administration page, and this is where we can add web apps, we can add users. So if I wanted to add a user, I could click the add user here and put all of the information in. One of the important things is the phone number. So one of the ways that Authenticate uh, secures silo is that there are trusted computers so the first time you log in your computer is trusted if you try to access an account from another computer what it will do is it'll say can we uh, send you a, a code as an SMS message to the phone number you have on file. You click that, it will send the message, and it won't allow a new computer to connect to your account until it's gotten that code. So we go through here, we do the username, the organization, so on and so forth. So basically, we can add users here. Now the cool thing is, and this this is this is the I mean this is the whole kit and caboodle as far as I'm concerned is this web apps. We can go in here, and this is where we can uh, we can create the web apps that we can share to the other users in our system. So as we can see here, I've already created this, uh, this, this Twitter app. If I click on the Twitter app, what we can see is I plugged in my username, I've plugged in my password, and then I've shared this username and password to these two different accounts. So my Eli at EliTheComputerGuy.com and a different uh, account that I set up. So if either of these accounts try to use Twitter, it will use the credentials that I've already given. Basically, all you have to do in order to do something like this is let's say ADP payroll. So payroll is a big thing in many companies. So we can add ADP payroll as an app. Then it says, how do you want it to be controlled? Is it gonna be for admin? Is it gonna be for users? So let's just say share. Let's say we're gonna share it between the two of us. And here is then when I where I put in ADP's information. So ADP user, password, whatever it is. I don't have an ADP account and then I click save. Now what'll happen is um, since I've created that, it should come up. Yeah, maybe it'll take a minute to come up. But basically, if either of us try to use ADP Payroll as an application, it will automatically use that username and password. So that's one of the, the cool things there. Then the final thing is policy. So down here we can manage policies. So how people can use the silo. So uh, so web, uh, like we can go to the, the web apps. If we click on web apps and we do edit, we can say, can users go to any website or do you allow nav navigation to only silo apps? So if you really want to lock people down, you say, I want them to be able to use Twitter, Facebook, and ADP, then you do that. We can go back to policies. We can go to devices. Again, can you add more devices or not? Uh, we can go back, you know, session idle time. So when are they going to get locked out? Do you want it to be uh, after 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes? And then the other cool thing, again, when we're thinking about security, um, we want to lock people down as much as possible. So do people have shifts? So let's say, you know, you have the accounting department or the marketing department again. Let's say we're still talking about the marketing department. And the marketing department works between 9 to 5 every day. So what we can do is we can create a shift to say, 
um, that people can only use this app uh, from 9 to 5. If somebody tries to use it at 6 or 7 or 8 or midnight, uh, it, it won't happen. So these are all the different things that are available within Silo. And I really, really do think it is a really, 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 really cool um, application that, that, that you should play with. Because again, that, I mean, that's a big problem. That's the, the, the question. And I run into this with so many small businesses nowadays is, again, you have Twitter, you, you have Tumblr, you have Facebook, you have Google+, you have all of these things. And again, you know, they're they weren't created for multiple users. And even if they were created for multiple users, now you have all these accounts spread everywhere. How the hell do you manage all of that? The nice part with this is it gives you one place to manage all of it. And again, it gives you that security. Since you're using that web-based container with the uh, encryption between you and it, you don't have to worry as much about things like malware. You know, malware coming in, stealing the usernames and passwords as you type it in basically you can set all this up using a computer that you know is secure then when any of your other users go to use applications all they have to do is hit the connect button and they connect and it's done the username and password doesn't get transmitted from their computer it gets transmitted from the container out to the outside world again i've, I've taken a look at this um from from the paperwork that they give, uh, it all looks very, very secure, very, very nice, very neat. Um, and it is definitely something that I would be using and probably will use in the future as my company expands. It just It's one of those things that makes sense. It's just good. It's just nice. It's just a really, really useful thing. Again, in this modern world where we're going to software as a service, cloud-based applications, the question is, is how do we replace Active Directory? One of the reasons that I've complained so much about Microsoft is that they have completely, they seem to have completely dropped the ball on Active Directory in the modern world. It works really, really well within the enterprise, but you start using all of these other web-based applications and there's just nothing at all there for you. The nice part is Silo comes in, it does these things that, uh, that seem to work very well, and it's good. So basically this is a way that secures access to your web-based applications and also allows you to grant access to multiple users in a rather user-friendly way. Right now, uh, I think they're doing beta tests, so it's free. So if you're interested in taking a look at it, definitely, like I say, just go to authenticate.com, take a look at it, download it, play with it, and um, tell me what you think about it. So, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy. This was Authenticate Silo to share and secure access to web apps. Um, as always, I enjoyed uh, teaching this class and look forward to seeing you at the next one.